So fourth quarter is pretty much here. And honestly, this is a time that people start to wind down and relax for the holidays. Well, let me just tell you this. This is the time to get serious about your goals, whether you're focused on losing weight, growing your YouTube channel, or taking your business to the next level. Now is that time to plan this out. In this vlog, I'm gonna be diving deep into some cleaning, organizing, and mapping out my goals for this September. I'll show you how I'm strategizing my weight loss and growing my YouTube channel, and even preparing for this exciting new journey. So let's finish this year strong, and most importantly, let's finish it together. Hey guys, welcome back to another monthly reset. We are just coming off of the holidays, so today is September 3rd. What I need to do is get my life together. My house is a mess for one. Two, I need to go ahead and log on to work to check my emails. And then three, I need to eat some breakfast because I just got back from the gym and I need to refuel myself. So I'm about to go ahead, my emails, have a small bite for breakfast, then clean up this house a little bit because when I tell you guys, it's a mess. When I went out of town this weekend and I really wanted to leave my house clean, but that did not happen. So let's go ahead and get this space together so we can really look at our month and set ourselves up for success this month. So uh, let's go ahead and get it. I need to clean my mess of a house. Um, we went out of town this weekend, so a lot of just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, but I'm about to get my life together. It is 9.48. Um, I'm gonna set myself timers so I can try to go like room by room. So I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes to first like declutter. So just get everything that does not belong in here out. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes to do that. Don't come around if you ain't close to me. I feel like them, it gotta work for me. Just cause I haunt you, it don't mean I want you, I don't You got some high hopes High hopes Okay, so let me just tell y'all, setting a timer to get your tasks done will help you get them done much quicker. I know y'all just saw how disastrous my house was looking. My room is still a disaster. We weren't focused on this room right now, so let's close this door. But, uh, yeah, all straightened out pretty much. So, if you have a hard time staying focused, when you're cleaning up, set an alarm. It's so, a game. Since I'm done cleaning up now, what I plan to do right now is plan out my content for the month of September. Um, something that I find to make my life so much like easier 
is to plan out my content in advance. And when I say advance, like plan it out for the whole month, figure out what you're, what you're doing week by week, figure out what days you're gonna batch, what days you're gonna edit, what days you're gonna post. Like figure all that out right now and then it just kind of keeps you ahead of the game where you don't even really have to worry about it. You don't have to be like, oh my God, what am I posting this week? Because you'll already have it A, recorded, probably just ready to be edited and scheduled out to post. I still did keep it consistent. I still made sure I had a video going up every week, but I wanted to kick up the notch for the month of September. Um, I want to post four times a week on YouTube, but I want to do two, um, two long form videos and then at least two shorts and i mean it's okay to do more than two shorts but i want to have at least like that is my requirement to have two shorts a week two long forms a week so yeah that's what i am planning out right now your next is i'm doing an unapologetic weight loss series officially down 53 months total um so it's been over the span of like two years so that first year i lost 25 pounds and i was able to maintain it um, and this year I am officially down another 33 pounds and I am excited about that I'm the smallest I've ever been probably since I was like a child but even when I was a child I was still like on the chubby side so I guess like I've never felt like I was small or slim or anything like that but <sighs> your girl is getting tiny out here. I actually took some before and after pictures. Well, I took before pictures in January and I didn't even think that I looked like that bad. Like I, I think I had that weight blindness that people are talking about on TikTok. Like I carry a lot of weight in my lower half. So I always had like big thighs and I like my stomach wasn't even like huge i'll actually insert a picture of my before picture and after picture here but like as you can tell like my stomach is not huge so i never really felt like that i was just like fat i felt that i was just bottom heavy with big arms like because the stomach wasn't protruding i just had big flabby arms and big ass thighs and like some people like big thighs so i never like i feel like in my older age it didn't really cause me like to be teased or anything like that so i i kind of just felt like where i sat most comfortably throughout life is just at that 160 mark um i never really got under 160 except one time um and that was like my last year of college where i was just like yeah i gotta get this college weight off of me because I was pretty uh big in college so I had got up to like 210 in college not even gonna hold y'all so like I've been big and small big and small like for my whole life just blowing up losing the weight blowing up losing the weight so now I'm going into my 30s next year and that's not gonna be me like I'm really shifting my mindset I'm really shifting who I'm gonna be and I don't want to carry that weight anymore so I just feel like I've been doing really good um in my process this year like i've seen results i've never seen before um i've tried on a size six uh which was still kind of big for me i've gotten a pair of small dress pants for work i actually still need to shop for some new work clothes because like i just can't fit anything my clothes are quite literally falling off of me so it's time to shop it's time to do all that good stuff but i feel like weight is a problem that a lot of people struggle with so i am going to do the best in my power to really help share my journey to help like motivate and encourage people um i just feel like in today's time there's so many other external factors that go into weight loss i feel like the generations before like they were all like kind of small like diets and stuff like were very different back in the day they had like less processed food like less chemicals so i kind of feel like weight loss was almost easier back in the day but I feel like as the generations continue to go on, we continue to get like all of this stuff in our diet that we don't necessarily need. And it's becoming harder to lose weight. People are having hormonal problems. I have, you know, half a thyroid, people have PCOS, people have insulin resistance. So there's so many problems like outside of just calories in, calories out when it comes to weight loss. So I have cracked the code for myself and I am going to share everything that I know with you guys because I feel like 
We deserve to be in our dream body. We deserve to feel good in our skin. We deserve to be whatever size we want to be. We deserve to not like settle. We don't have to settle in the fat body. Like we don't have to settle in a fat suit. And I kind of just felt like I've always felt like shy and like small because it was like, I just felt like I'm not supposed to be a big girl. I'm not supposed to be carrying all of this weight with me. And I also feel like weight is sometimes a reflection. I don't know if it's a reflection or just a representation of the stuff that you're carrying. So not only am I ditching the weight, like I'm I'm letting go of so much shit that I've been holding on to. And I think it's time for a lot of people to be doing this. And my 95 babies, we are turning 30 next year. So it's time to like, honestly, just start creating a life that you want. Like I'm getting married and I'm about to be 30 and I'm going to be looking good. So with that being said, um, I did go ahead and map out my next few episodes that I'm going to put out on my YouTube channel. I have eight um, episodes here, but I do want to go ahead and put them in like a Google, um, a, like a spreadsheet just so I can kind of have them like front you know, front set of mine, like right in my face. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and organize that. So I have my thoughts on paper. So I'm never kind of just like lost. And it's 11.16 right now. So I do have time to probably film two videos today. So I'm going to do my best to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these like ideas in the spreadsheet. Okay, so we got everything inside the spreadsheet. Um, and this is kind of how I like to set it up. We have, you know, week one, week two. So you guys are getting a, a slight sneak peek into the plans for this week, but yeah, it's gonna be great. I also added a column for shorts, but I'm gonna focus on shorts tomorrow. Um, I might go into the office tomorrow. Um, so I really just have to kind of play it by ear. What do I wanna do for shorts? But shorts are easier. Like I can literally go find like a conference room and just film them. Um, I'm whispering because I don't know if people from my job are watching, but, um. Or if I don't do that, I can easily come home on my lunch break and film a few shorts or even go film some in my car. Like, they're not that big of a deal. So, um, I'm there big of a deal, but, like, they're easier to just kind of go ahead and knock. It's a one-minute kind of thing. Turn your camera on, talk for a minute, and call it a day. So, yeah, that's all mapped out. So, now I am going to write out my script, do something to my hair really quickly sit up and record this video god i look tired and i really am but um yeah so let's get into it my head is like literally banging but i just finished out my show notes for my video that i'm gonna record today my head hurts so bad usually when i have to do so much stuff at once like i get a headache i don't know if it's like vertigo or i honestly think it might be my eyesight i don't know but something be off and i just get a headache which is probably why i don't like, and this sounds crazy, but like I have a hard time like cleaning up because this really only happens when I have to clean up. And I don't know if it's like all the like constant moving around, like bending down, doing all that kind of stuff. So I thought this camera was charged, but it's not. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make me a little snack um, for lunch. It's about like 11.45. Haven't had anything since like 7, 8 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead Give me a nice little snack in and then do my hair and go ahead and record this video.
touched up done um i went to the gym this morning so my roots was a little bit puffy they weren't puffy a lot because i low-key took it real light today because i'm in my luteal phase so i did just like a nice little walk today on the on the on the on the, on the treadmill and but i had a fat burner today and I, I i was sweating like i was running so that was kind of weird but anywho my hair wasn't too wet the roots weren't too bad so i just ran over the roots with a low flat iron, I don't really care about that heat damage stuff. The roots can be damaged. I really don't care. Because if the roots can be looser, I'll take it. I know that sounds crazy, but like, seriously. Um, So now it is time for me to go ahead and film this video. So I can go ahead and knock that out. I So I just finished recording one video, which was a roller coaster because my job, well actually because the first time I filmed it, I didn't have my microphone set up correctly and I just know the audio was trash and I'm really trying to like up in my audio game when it comes down like my comes down to my sit down videos. So I just went ahead and refilmed it. So basically I think the video was like 40 minutes. So I had to record that twice. So I don't know if I have time to do another video today. So if not, I'll just record it another day. But um, I'm about to take Milo outside and then I'm gonna sit down and really go over like some of my goals that I have and kind of just prepare myself for the month realistically. I will bring you guys along for that. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I'm trying to be better at like planning out my months and just having things kind of just like on track and having goals month to month because sometimes I just have like this over like arching goal like what I want to accomplish for the year but I do think it is good to check in with yourself like monthly so I did go uh, look back on this August video I recorded this I think August 6th or something so I did talk about some of the goals that I had for myself and I just kind of want to reflect on them I have them here let me see if I can make this bigger so that was to have a clean home like trying to just make sure picking up after myself doing my night shift like all that stuff to keep my space clean because when your space is clean your brain is clean I wanted to make sure I was pre-recording my content and posting at least one time a week for as far as like long form content and I wanted to lean into my weight loss content because that seems to be doing well analytics wise in my YouTube channel and then growing my side hustle so I would say for this we can give this a green I've been pretty like okay with it i wouldn't say i'm perfect but i would say i did a better job this month than last month i would say i definitely pre-recorded my content not as much as i would have liked to have but i did make sure i did have content every week so we can give ourselves a check for that lean into weight loss content i have a weight loss video up right now if you guys haven't checked it out i'm talking about really mastering your calorie deficit i'm officially down 53 pounds now in the video it was only 45 but i'm now 53 now so woo -woo to me i definitely say i did a video on how dallas changed my life and that had like a huge like impact on my weight loss i would say i definitely kind of like leaned into the weight loss content so that is good august i did one two three four videos so i did one video a week like i said and then like as far as i grow in this side hustle I know I made a video and I made an Instagram telling y'all to go follow. I think I'm just going to close the Instagram. And what I think I want to do is I kind of just want to focus on building out my personal brand and just letting, you know, the, the branding identity be a service that I offer. I don't want to have to create like all of these different pages for every single different thing that I like. So I kind of just want to build like some sort of like cohesive space to where I can kind of do everything. I know like, the way of the land is like niche down and stuff like that but i don't think that i can 
be like a niche down type of girly because I'm like multi multi passionate person I guess you would say like I can do many things I like different things at different times so I just kind of want to showcase you know how I can help people what I like to do and how I can help people like improve their lives just in one space so I'm kind of just going to focus on that so we can it's the Sierra on social studios I'm gonna go ahead and close the page and I'm just gonna be transparent because like I feel like I don't want to just have something out there and I'm acting like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to do that. But like I do it, but it's just like not something that I feel like needs its own separate space to do. All right. So I got three out of the four goals done for August. So I would say that's a pretty good month. So let's kind of just look at the analytics here right now really quick. So let's look at take a peek into my July analytics because I don't really think I really like analyze that and look through that last month. So I can just kind of get a, a good view of how each month went just like July, August and what I could be doing better in September. Okay, so the month of July, I got 67 subscribers. In the last 28 days, we had uh, 53 subscribers. 53 subscribers. It's so good. On my road to 1,000. I want to get there soon. So I'm going to need you all to subscribe. Um, okay, so that was in the last 28 days. I got 242 views in the last 48 hours. 48 hours. Okay, I got 300 hours of watch time this month. Cool. That's the key though. Watch hour time. Um, I can't wait to that, like, continues to grow. However, I do have a pretty decent amount of watch time just because, like, I've been on YouTube, like, six fucking years. So I have, like, a good portion of, like, evergreen content that people are still watching to this day. So that is one, like, tip I have for you guys. Make sure you're making, like, evergreen content. People... Um, make content that people are always going to be searching. So I got 300 hours this month, uh, 58 subscribers. So we got top content, Dallas 2024, 2024. So Dallas 24, becoming her, weight loss setbacks, 45 pounds down, down, shorts. Oh my gosh, these shorts is doing it. My original Dallas video. Yeah. Never give up another weight loss short. Guys, how cute is my little keyboard? I got this from Amazon. And it's so cute. Okay, sorry. I get distracted really quickly. Easily. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got our August analytics for us to kind of uh go back and review so what i want to do is kind of keep this as a running list so this is my august goals um and my july analytics so these are my august analytics so now let's go ahead in here and and my september goals september we're getting so close to like fourth quarter and i kind of feel like Fourth quarter is a time where people like to slow down, but this is honestly a time that you should be setting yourself up for success to have a bomb ass 2025. And my 95 babies who turning 30, so 2025 is giving man character energy. This is what my friend says. But seriously, so get your life together. So we're gonna do 2020, I mean, not 2020, Lord Jesus. September goals, I have a lot of weight loss, like body goals here. I'm actually doing a weight loss series here on my channel. I'm trying to show the truth about like a weight loss journey. But like there's a lot of like misconceptions and people try to simplify it. And it is fairly simple. But the thing is people have different bodies and different like prop things wrong with their body. Everybody is like uniquely made. So it's not necessarily like as simple as people makes it seen but you also have to make sure that you are adapting your process to your body and not just kind of like following some plan off the internet so uh goals for september is i want to lose five to ten pounds like my ultimate goal is 130 um i got a lot of haters out there right now telling me i don't need to lose any more weight and that ain't none of their business so i'm gonna just say that um my ultimate goal is 130 right now i'm at 141 so to be in my 130s i would feel great anybody would 
So who's been overweight their whole life? So let's just let's just praise people for like, you know, the good that they're doing in their life instead of like trying to shame them. It's like you shame them for being fat and now you're shaming them for losing weight. Like it's so annoying. But anywho, um ultimate weight loss. 130 so i want to lose five to ten pounds right now i'm following in 1200 to 1400 calories a day it kind of just depends on like how much i'm working out to where the calories kind of fall a goal that i actually have for myself is to tone up essentially i started doing like this toning video through august and i can honestly say i see some changes but i want to see some more changes so toning is going to be like one of my main focuses on um in september and it's i mean just for the remainder of the year and i'm not really trying to build like a ton of muscle but i do want to like tone up and i'm going to do that through like not heavy weights just more repetition lower weights because i don't know heavy weights kind of really screw with my hormones so i'm not gonna be out here trying to be muscle mommy and doing all this extra stuff i'm gonna do what works for me i'm also gonna intake um try to up my protein intake and i'm vegetarian for the most part but i've also thought about like sliding in like some chicken here and there just to kind of meet the goal just to see if that helps any um as far as like how i look and i want to take like progress pics like every month so i can just see like if any changes are happening so let's track my protein i want to aim for like 100 grams daily and i always say 100 grams because most, pe most people can do more but because i don't necessarily eat too much meat i just love it at 100 that way i can do shakes and i could do eggs and cottage cheese and yogurt and stuff like that but um i do plan to slide some meat in there some days Depending on how, how my stomach takes it, honestly, or if I feel like stomach in it. Because sometimes I get so grossed out, like by chicken specifically. Like other stuff doesn't bother me as bad as chicken does. But it's just kind of gross to me sometimes when I think about it. I strength train three times a week. I did not strength train today. It is the day after the holiday. And I just did a little bit of cardio because I'm actually in my luteal phase. But I'll wake up in the morning tomorrow and make sure I do some strength training before work. My goal is to drink half of my body weight in water. I know a lot of people get on here and say like, you should drink a gallon of water every day. But the thing is like, you're really flushing your body from a lot of the natural like minerals and stuff that you have in there and you're going to be pissing all day and it's not really that beneficial i heard ideally you should drink at least like 64 ounces or at least half your body weight in water so that is my goal so that essentially will be two two stanleys i think i don't know my stanley might be 40 ounces but anywho drink more water and then i also like to drink coconut water for like hydration and stuff and water doesn't necessarily hydrate you as well as other kind of like other things like watermelon hydrates you cucumbers hydrate you so some of the other things are better than actually water well you need water but like as far as like hydration and then i have a nice little announcement that i want to share with you guys i signed up for the nasm certified personal trainer program in 2022 completely wasted my money on the self-paced class didn't take the test and i think i didn't take the test a because i didn't feel like i can truly be anyone's personal trainer i did not believe in myself b i was still in grad school so it was just like i don't think i could even focus on doing that at the time but like now i even feel like i'm at a better place in my body in my mindset and I truly, truly do want to help like other people lose weight. So, and I just have an idea about how I would like my program to be ran just because I feel like there's a lot of info out here that is solely dedicated to super athletically built people or just men. Like, I feel like there's a lot of men giving like weight loss advice to women and that's not a cook cookie cutter approach i actually just did a video about that so if it's up i'll link it here if it's not be on the lookout for it but weight loss is not a cookie cutter approach for women we have a 28 day cycle our bodies fluctuate so much differently than a man we cannot like starve ourselves before workouts we cannot work out as intensely every day as a man could it strains your body it gives you high cortisol it puts your body in a state of like stress and like i feel like it's okay when on the younger side but like once you get to a certain age it's very hard on the body and i'm not saying that you don't you shouldn't lift weights because weights are good for you muscle is it is good to have muscle it is good to make sure your bone density and all that is good 
So I'm not saying like that they're giving bad advice. I just think it needs to be tailored to women. So that's kind of like the approach, the, the approach that I would take when it comes to being a personal trainer. I want to dedicate an hour a day to studying for this. Like I said, I signed up for this two years ago. So I have the book, 7th edition, and I do need to hurry up and go ahead and just study and take this because who knows how long the 7th edition is going to be readily available. So I grabbed a binder just so I can start to print the study guides because they give you study guides. I watched some YouTube videos on like how people are saying like the exam is set up and like what to study specifically. So I got some pens and some post-it notes. So I'm excited to actually start studying for that. And then a YouTube goal, because like I said, I want to be monetized by the end of the year. So let's say we want to post four times a week on YouTube. I am aiming for two long form videos a week and two short forms of videos, two short form videos a week minimum. So if I do more, yay for me but minimum four videos a week. And then a goal I have for myself is get seven to eight hours of sleep. I'm just trying to get back on my morning schedule, like good and consistent. So that starts with going to bed on time and getting enough sleep. I don't necessarily think I got enough sleep last night, but that is one of my goals uh, for September. So that is all of my goals. So I have eight goals for the month. I'm excited to see like what happens. I'm excited to get it down on paper. And I cannot wait to check back in with you guys next month so we can see what was accomplished. I'm excited to see how my channel grows this month. July, we got 67 subscribers. In August, we got 53 subscribers. So let's top that this month. Let's let's try to aim for 100 subscribers this month. So, um, yes. But anyways, this is my, you know, September reset. I'm just trying to get my life together, just like all of us are. And that starts with having a good mindset and having a plan. So I encourage you guys to write out your September goals, write them down like in this format, and then that way you can kind of just come back and check in later on. And then like since I have my August stuff in here, I'm going to use this as a running list so I can go and look back and see my progress throughout the fourth quarter. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was very fun to make today. Be on the lookout. I am having a weight loss series coming up here on my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and join the crew. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, she making that shake, breaking that bait till the bed.